Hey everybody, um, gonna be going for a uh, new video approach. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, this is what I sound like. Uh, but basically, I'm thinking of doing a uh, commentary uh, videos for uh, City Skylines, uh, maybe for SimCity 4, and also for um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. You can let me know in the comments uh, what you think about that, but uh, for now, I'm trying something new. Uh, forgive me if the microphone sounds bad, but um, it's the best I have. It's the only thing I have, actually. But um, basically, uh, welcome to the series. Uh, this is going to be the first episode for City Skylines. Um, if you want to know, the map that I'm using was custom made. I don't have a download for it because I don't know. I made it myself on my own time. But um, basically, uh, like any city would start in this game, we are linking up um, a highway. Uh, if you notice, the highway here is only two lanes, and that's because uh, I'm trying to mimic a sort of um, a town uh, being created from nowhere, basically, and usually you don't have, I don't know, three-lane highways just going around. I mean, you could, but from where I live, that's a very uncommon thing. It's always two lanes. Um, as they get into very heavy traffic zones. So, uh, for here we're starting with a uh, two lane highway. And the thing that I did with this that uh, is pretty interesting is the, uh, the entrance and exit in general to the highway. You see that it comes into this little um, a loop basically and you have, I guess, just one shot to get on or off the highway when you need to. Otherwise, you'd have to, you can't even really do anything else. You'd have to loop all the way back on some other exit that's not even within the region. So, uh, we gotta work on that later. I get a, I get a basic town going in this, um, in this video, uh, or this episode, I should say. Um, right now I'm just laying out the grid for the town, and what was weird is, when laying out the grid, each road that I connect to, it said it was 90 degrees, and yet the grid still somehow got really messed up, so I end up deleting it later, you'll probably see. Unless I cut that out of the recording. Uh, but I don't think I did. I'll probably, yeah, I can see that the grid's off, so I'll probably end up deleting it. Uh, but basically, it's going to be very grid-like in this city, at least in the downtown area. Towards suburbs and whatnot, it's going to be like more um, curvy roads and whatnot. Again, like where I live, uh, it's like that. So basically, uh, that's what I'm trying to go for. I'm just going off of what I know, um, which is uh, cities and suburbs, because I live fairly close to a city and live in a suburb. I don't know why I even bother saying that, but um. This exit to the highway was actually modeled after one in uh, St. Louis. I'm not sure what part of St. Louis. It's on the, uh, it's to the east of the Mississippi, I believe, or is it the Missouri River? I don't even know. It's to the east of it, uh, entering some suburbia zones. Um, I don't even know where I was going from there. But basically, just trying to uh, get a grid layout down. There's lots of trees on these, well, not trees at the moment, it's going to be grass at first, but eventually it'll be replaced with, um, with trees and whatnot. Um, so just laying out the grid, and I have infinite money turned on because, uh, I have not played this game a lot. I've pumped a lot of mods into it, I have a bunch of mods and assets downloaded, because I just could not play the vanilla game, it just irritated me a lot with just how it looked and how it played as well and uh, so basically I just um, I have unlimited money turned on because what I go bleh, what I'm going for is um, just 
trying to make a nice city. So um, one of the problems that I have is, of course, lack of experience. When I played SimCity 4, I didn't use uh, money cheats. I mean, I did use money cheats, but that was because I needed to plop the uh, high-rise buildings and whatnot, and those are stupidly expensive. But um, the reason why I usually didn't use money that is because I had hundreds upon hundreds of hours already logged into SimCity 4. So I knew what I was doing. Same thing applies for Roller Coaster Tycoon. I, at least I somewhat know what I'm doing in that game. Um, this game, I hardly have like any hours logged in it. I've hardly played it at all. I just got the basics for it, but I could not wait to make a video for it. So um, I tinkered around with it, got the basics for it, and recorded and basically what you see is a uh, pretty uh, what's the term noob ish I don't even want to use the term noob but um if you don't like what I'm doing forgive me I don't even know what I'm doing uh, but basically uh, laying down some rail lines I and mean, the rail lines were already there but um, I had to readjust them. And one thing that I'm going for in this city, which is also like the city that I live in, is a heavy reliance on railroads. So that's why there is no... There's water, but there are no ports. It's basically a little creek and a, a lake that the creek feeds into. So it's going to be very heavy reliance on rail, and we have our first buildings developing. Uh, but, um, that's basically going to be it, so, uh, be prepared to see tons and tons of rail connections in the future and rails going everywhere, um, because who doesn't love trains? I bet a lot of you don't like trains, <laughs> but, uh, I think trains are pretty cool, so, uh, why not build a city that's based around that? Um, so at the moment, just getting down some, uh, housing and whatnot. Uh, the theme that I use for this is the Brooklyn theme that you can find on the Steam Workshop. Uh, there's also the Manhattan theme, but uh, at the moment I'm using Brooklyn because this is a small suburb zone and building an overpass that's going to lead to an industrial area over here. But um, I really enjoy the Brooklyn theme because all the buildings are wall-to-wall. Uh, -wall. I don't know if that's a term used for city skylines, but in SimCity 4 that's what it would have been called. And I just really like the way that it looks. Uh, it looks really uh, grungy, I guess you could say. Uh, and that's something that I'm used to because SimCity 4, compared to City Skylines, uh, as much uh, as how nice uh, City Skylines looks, it's uh, it's way too cartoony. And that is just something that I'm not used to and something I'm not a fan of. So getting a Brooklyn, I also have a Manhattan theme uh, for the game, it really uh, fits what I'm going to be creating because what I'm going to create is basically what I have in the SimCity 4 series, which is a massive city. Um, so, and that's, I guess that's what I'm just used to making, so uh, you can't change what you're already used to making. Um, I guess you could, but uh, over here, we're just uh, laying down some industry. Had a bit of uh, power issues, and there's a train going by. And uh, speaking of issues, uh, something that was weird was uh, when recording this, the uh, roads that I had were uh, the European textures, even though I had the uh, American, the North American Road Plus uh, mod enabled. I think that's what it's called. But for some reason, um, it just came up as the European roads. But uh, in the next video, I'll make sure to have that fixed. Um, same thing applies with the uh, the map theme. I also had a, a different map theme, but it didn't load. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'll make sure to get that fixed. Uh, over here, I am setting up a, uh, a little... I wouldn't really call it a park, because... Um, It'd be a pretty bad park, in my opinion, right next to a highway. It's more of just a, uh, a buffer zone, if you could call it that. And I had a little trouble with the uh, prop line tool for some strange reason. And by strange reason, I mean I didn't check the options, right? 
um, but I would try and lay the uh, fence props down and they would keep disappearing and that's because I didn't have uh, like the fence prop anarchy enabled. So over here I fixed it, got it all working. But um, like I was saying before, excuse me, um, it's not really a, uh, a park so much as it is a, a buffer for the highway and the uh, suburbs. So there's going to be uh, trees and whatnot, fencing to keep people out of there, um, albeit being a fence that you could easily just hop over. But um, lots of trees. There's going to be little benches along that path that I put down, so that's why you could say that it's a park, but I just really didn't want it to be exclusively foliage because then um, it just seemed out of place at that point, having a bunch of trees surrounding all of this uh, civilization it just didn't seem right. Um, and it, instead of putting the uh, the white picket fence over here, I decided to use a uh, wooden wall, or wall but a wooden fence. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that because it seems out of place as well, and also not the safest thing. I mean, usually if you want to prevent cars from crashing off, you probably put like cement or whatnot and not just a wooden fence but um I thought it would look uh, pretty good uh, considering that it was just a little small town beginning uh, so wooden fence is there at the moment but I might change that later uh, just putting down more foliage here the benches that I was talking about so kind of fits as being a park I also put in some lights gonna be a lot of custom lights that I'm putting in because um, uh, the default lights that get placed with certain props just don't fit the scenario right another thing that uh, about lights you're gonna see me later uh, the roads that I had placed down uh, the default lights as I was saying before uh, they come out as white or even bluish and I do not like that one bit. While some cities and some streets do have lights that are that color, most of them uh, have the um, the nice uh, orange halogen glow. If it's halogen, I don't even know my light bulbs, but um, has a nice orange uh, aura to it, and. That's what I'm used to, and that's what I'm going to go for. So you're going to see me replace the roads. Yep, here I go. And uh, I'm not sure if there's a mod or a way to do this, but I had to switch them to one-way roads, then switch them back to the uh, center turning lane to um, get that just right. But you're going to see me switch it to nighttime, and I'm going to... It really makes a difference when you think about it. The... Um, the orange versus the white because the orange really it really sets the mood of the city I'm not gonna lie so having the uh, the bright white lights it makes it seem like a sort of utopia I guess and I'm not saying that my city can't be a utopia I'm not saying it will be it definitely won't be but um the orange uh, lights really really says really screams city towards me it really screams a uh, like very dense city as well and that's what I'm gonna be going for um, a dense city I guess um, so I just upgraded a highway or not a highway but a roadway over there as you just saw because um, I didn't really have any major roadways yet it was just uh, two-way streets so that was a problem because I knew traffic was going to become an issue later on so I might as well take care of the problem at its source right then and there I had to destroy a couple houses but um it was all worth it and over here the bridges uh, the lights were on a different setting so I had to switch them out and there we go now we have the nice orange lining through the the center of the town but these uh, side streets that have the grass on the side I'm going to upgrade them to have trees um, but when I also do that, I'm going to replace the street lights again with the nice, or not nice, depending on how you view it, uh, orange glow. Ah, orange glow. I love that product. Not really. God, terrible puns. Um, moving on, because I've been talking about lights for so long, I have placed down some education, and now I need a high school. Um, the elementary school really fits in with the Brooklyn theme. 
However, I could not find a high school that fit in with that theme, so I found this uh, modern high school that's going to be on the uh, on the other side of the main avenue, but going along the main uh, center turn lane road, which I'm probably going to upgrade in the future once traffic becomes an issue. Excuse me, just burped a little bit. Um, but over here, I am setting up the, uh, the parking lot that's going to be in the rear of the building. Uh, not a super large parking lot. I mean, I don't see a reason for the parking lot being super big, considering you could walk to school uh, with its proximity to the rest of the community. But a parking lot was necessary for students who uh, live far away, I guess. Um, and the school comes with its own uh, parking that you can see over there in the top of the screen. But uh, that was just way too small. I consider that to be a teacher lot. So uh, I had to make the student lot that is to the rear of the building that you see me building now using the prop line tool. Uh, this mod, honestly, uh, revolutionary towards the game. You can just move props however you see fit. And truly, uh, this, this um, parking in the back would have been an absolute nightmare without the aid of this mod. So uh, I forgot who made the mod. And I know everybody else who makes City Skylines videos uses it, but I just need to say thank you for this masterpiece that you've created. Um, so over here you can see me just uh, putting in, I believe this is the last row of uh, parking spaces that I put in, adjusting it so it's uh, just right. And I'm going to put in the road connection. I was very hesitant on whether to connect this to the center avenue that you see over there. But I eventually did because I didn't want to um, just force, in a real life scenario, just force traffic to be uh, going in and out through one exit. That's not uh, a very wise thing to do. And over here, um, like I was talking about with the teacher lot, since it is a teacher lot, I feel like they would be uh, uh, not caged in, but uh, secluded from the other lot, the student lot. Uh, it only makes sense. So that way, uh, students wouldn't park there. Uh, but the front of the building, when I placed down the uh, the concrete tiles, as you saw earlier, uh, I covered up some grass that came part of the building. Uh, so rather than deleting the concrete tiles, I decided to uh, put in these little uh, grassy plots. I'm not sure what to call them. Um, but basically, I'm going to put some planters, I guess. Put some trees and whatnot in there, make it look really nice. And also putting in uh, uh, wooden walls you see over there to separate it from housing that's probably going to eventually develop. And like I said earlier, here I come with my own custom lighting. Again, with the orange because the school that I went to, or school that I'm still, not that I'm still going to, but the school that I go to, or went to, however you say it, um, they all have the nice orange glow. Oh, orange glow. <laughs> to them uh, so that's why I went ahead and put some orange lights down uh, putting in some dumpsters and whatnot I'm not sure if that's a key dumpster zone I'm not sure if the uh, accessibility for garbage trucks is good enough but it was the most that I had so I just rolled with it uh, something that's weird about this school is that you can see like little sims if that's what they're called when they go over to the school they like jump up a full 10 feet really weird to get into that uh, center courtyard or whatever it is uh, it's pretty weird how that uh, plays out but um <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore it's pretty late over here it's currently 11 o'clock um, I meant to record this earlier but I didn't really have the time so uh, I do apologize for that. If my voice doesn't sound enthusiastic, it's because I am tired. But, um, moving on now, we are moving, I want to say south, but I don't know what my directions are. Just, let's just say, we're expanding the city uh, even further than it already is. Um, and I had these uh, custom-made farmlands using the different oil and ore resources, so... Uh, that's why the ground is all different colored um, and they're divided with the hedges because it's supposed to resemble farmland again many many other people have already done this I am in no way original but um, I just felt like that would be a nice touch considering again 
where I grow up, or not where I grow up, where I am currently living and have grown up, um, there were, uh, and there still are, a lot of farmland, especially where I live. So, uh, like I said earlier in the video, I'm replacing the, uh, the streets that had the uh, grass siding with the uh, streets that have the, uh, the trees along the edges. And uh, the light bulbs on these streets are going to be orange, as I previously mentioned many times by now. I should probably stop mentioning it because I'm just gonna, no point in hammering it into your guys' brains. But I'm um, putting down a little healthcare clinic because people were complaining. Also plopping down a stupid amount of wind turbines because I had uh, nothing better to do to get power, at least at the moment, but I will fix that. But um, as for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a weird, uh, abrupt ending to the video, but um, uh, I just want to say uh, that'll be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.